Okay, I just want to start by congratulating Albany on a great match. Um, it was really a physical, it was an intense, both emotionally and physically match. Um, you know, I thought they did a great job, very relentless in their defense, in their pursuit, made it very difficult for us to score. Um, I thought we could have made it a little bit more difficult for them to score. Um, and, and just with, with five blocks, that's not acceptable by our standards. So, um, you know, I really, I thought defensively, we put just enough pressure on them, um, not as much as what we wanted to, but they sure put a lot of pressure on us. And I thought uh, they deserve to be congratulated for that because they, they, they played really well. Um, I was really happy to see our middles and our right sides get much more involved in our offense. We've been trying to do that all year long. Um, and to have Narissa with four kills and hit 500, and to have Westlich have seven kills and hit 600, I thought that was awesome. Um, Right sides both contributed where they needed to contribute. So, you know, we're spreading the ball around in the areas that we need to. And if, if we can become a team that's got five, six hitters on any night, it's going to be really tough for us to defend. So I thought all in all, you know, you look at it from totality, it, it's a win uh, against a good team who played really, really hard. Um, and I thought that, you know, we played points, especially uh, in the second set. It was a very intense set. We played them pretty resiliently. Uh, we had to get, I think, some six side outs in a row that we had to get, and we were able to do that. So um, that takes toughness to do that. We have that toughness. Now we just need to stop putting ourselves in the position to have to use that toughness. Um, what do you have to say about the momentum this team's built this weekend? You know, it's, it, I think each match it has its own character, and I think what happens is each match reveals a little bit more about your team. Um, we've certainly found out that we can be resilient when things are close. Um, and I think that's putting us in a position that when in the future, when we're in those matches, we're going to say, hey, we've been in these. Every single match in this tournament has been that way. I don't know if anybody's noticed that, but everything's being decided by two points. So really, um, you talk about momentum and the building of momentum. It, it just really comes from us learning ourselves more than anything else. Um, we talked a little bit about that second set, but what was going through uh, the coach's mind there uh, trying to cap off that, that set? That just... Yeah, really it was just trying to execute. You know, um, When we're serving, trying to you know, set the block up, set the defense up, You know, try to take away what we think their primary two options are, make them beat us with a third option. Um, at times, I thought we really did that well. Um, and then at times, we weren't so good at it. Um, and then on the flip side, when we're on offense, serve, receive, we had to find ways to get out there and inside out, first ball preferably, so we don't even give them a chance. Um, sometimes we did that, sometimes we had to win it in transition, but overall it just went our way. Okay, so coming off of the win yesterday versus South Carolina, um, what kind of confidence did you give you going into today's game? You know, I think each individual match is its, it's, its own trial. and. Um, I think we're trying to build our confidence as a whole, uh, not even so much from match to match. So what does South Carolina do for us? You know, a lot us to believe that we can go on the floor with a good SEC team and, you know, we can go beat them. Um, I think more than anything else, what it does is it shows that we can play with composure, we can play with resiliency down the stretch. And so those are things that we're going to need as we go forward. Um, but I'll tell you, a, a team like Albany really tests that. They, they really test your resolve, and they wait for you to make a single mistake. And the moment you do, they pounce on you. And you'll notice every mistake we made ended up in a two- or three-point run for them. So I give them a lot of credit. Uh, what's the game plan going against a good Kansas team? Tomorrow? I'm not telling you. I, I, I'm not giving you anything. Right now, I think uh, Kansas is physical. They were just in the Final Four not that long ago. Um, they jump, they hit from every position on the floor. We have to really right now where we are, we have to worry about us. I mean, we're playing two opponents sometimes when we're out there. Not only are we playing a great team across the net, we're playing ourselves and our own growth. And so I think we're going to worry more about the opponent that's on our side of the net versus the other side of the net, and hopefully that will take care of the other side of the net. You know, I think it's got a lot to do with our eye sequencing, what we're reading. Uh, as soon as the pass comes up, we have to figure out who's available, what options do they have. We have to make the, the right reactions to it. 
um, not so much who's their hot hand or who they've been going to, but seeing what they have remaining after the pass. Do they have all three hitters, two hitter, just one hitter? We've got to be more disciplined. And then starting at the net, our setup blocker, our two outside blockers have to do a better job of just getting around the ball, surrounding the ball, letting the middle get to them, and creating the best block we can. Any more questions, guys? All right. All right. Coach. No, thanks, you guys. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you.